this decision gets bigger and bigger. So I just want you to think about those, those of you out there who are thinking about this. Why hasn't she ruled yet? What I doubt very seriously that Judge Torres has ever felt the pressure that she's feeling right now. Ripple is sending, hey, Judge, look what the judge in Voyager said. Look what the Judge Gorsuch at the Supreme Court said about fair notice. All of these things are happening after. She's getting more information. Look at the SEC's conduct. Look at Binance. Look at the CFTC. All of this stuff is happening in the background where you got guys like me saying the regulatory clarity is going to come from her. You've got the library decision. You don't think she's aware of all this. So this decision is as big of a decision that this judge has ever faced. Think about it. What other decision is as big as this decision when it comes to global trade and finance in modern history? I've said before that this case is the most significant non-fraud SEC enforcement action since 1946. So at that kind of pressure, personally, I don't blame Judge Torres for being very careful of how she words this decision because A, if it goes against Ripple, she knows it's going up to a conservative court. And if it's for Ripple, she has to justify it and all those things. So just be patient. We're almost at the end. Everybody have a great night. See you next week.